Guys, it's that Panda Guy, and I'm here again with another video. And today, we're gonna be talking about this new update, which is going to be the Arena of Doom update. Um, I do think that this is kind of interesting. I will say, I think that people were maybe potentially overreacting. I will say, obviously, uh, they've dropped a lot of updates that have disappointed and kind of not hit the mark that people were expecting, which does just get people's hopes down. And every update that people drop, uh, sorry, uh, that doomsday drops people are generally just going to expect it to be a pay to win to sort of update so i can't really blame the sentiment around it but let's hope okay we're going to hope that this isn't the worst um the arena of doom will undergo a change on the 15th in the new version of arena of doom you will face challenges from commanders of all regions and win even more rewards i will say this is making me skeptical if it's more rewards or if it's more rewards from the people who can rank the highest because you know if i'm uh ranking because you got to consider like obviously like uh we lower our defenses for the you know first few days of the week um allow people into the top 20 to get carbon right so is it going to be better for them or is it going to be even worse given that they're going to be kind of smothered in a smaller bracket so here it does say the new arena of doom is divided into the arena of federation and the arena of glory so you can assume this is only going to have two tiers uh, your initial tier will be allocated based on your current might um, I'm not sure how many uh, can get into obviously which one um, I'm assuming like there's a top percent that can get into one or the other so maybe if arena of freedom is the top bracket or top you know whatever it's called maybe top 20% get in there and then the rest get into arena of glory not really a way to tell here your initial tier will be allocated based on your might though. The Arena of Doom a tally results uh, resets on a weekly basis. Commanders that stay above Platinum rank um, with more than 3,000 points in Arena of Freedom uh, before the end of the season will be promoted to the Arena of Glory in the next season. And this kind of opens up some questions because I, I don't know if this is the case, but it you know, says Platinum here. You don't know if there are going to be other ranks, you know, like Iron bronze whatever the case or that is just their way of saying um like within the like because because i'm assuming like for example platinum might be rank one for example through rank 100 and then uh rank uh, sorry um and then gold might be rank 101 through 200 or something it's it's not really easy to tell how this is going to work and one thing i'm actually wondering are uh, what are the rewards going to be for each of the uh for each of these like tiers right so if you're in arena of freedom and you're in arena of glory what are the what is the reward difference you know what do you have unlocked to you that's different and will these also be uh, based off of where you're ranked within the actual arena which you know can be assumed it maybe is similar to arena of doom because you know arena of doom obviously you have to reach top 20 uh, rank to obtain a lot of the carbon rewards which might be the kind of the same with you know this new arena which i'm guessing it is which they will have like um i think they said armament rewards and stuff which is one thing to actually look forward to uh i will say this could be potentially bad i mean obviously everything that they release will just be more so uh favorable for people who are able to rank higher do better i mean this is kind of the same with even pvp events obviously a t6 player is going to have better chances at ranking first than a t4 player but even then you got to consider like you know generally it's it's like the strong gets stronger because if i'm able to rank first every time and i'm able to obtain let's say my armaments well obviously i'm going to be having a much better time than some dude who's always stuck in rank 400 and not able to obtain the armaments within the you know season shop or whatever okay number three you will receive demise coins based on your ranking at tier um or tier at specific intervals this can be uh, assumed to be kind of like arena of doom where i think it's every three hours or four hours or something like that you get a certain amount of coins um allocated to you based off what your rank is demise coins can be used to redeem items in the arena shop uh, demise coins will be cleared at the end of the season um so this is basically telling you that you have to spend these unlike the the current arena of doom coins where you just sit on them infinitely if you want to you have to spend these by the end of the season number four uh, generous rewards related to hero armaments will be added to the new arena store they can be redeemed with demise coins so this is a plus to me i mean hopefully um and the armament rewards will be easy more not easily obtained because i understand they're not going to make it easily obtained uh or make give you like a hundred armaments for for nothing right but hopefully it isn't like a pain to kind of obtain these and and more more so more people can uh you know kind of grab these instead of it's like a select few 
Uh, the current version of Arena of Doom will close on the 15th. The Arena Store will be available and remain open until the 28th. Please use your Doom. Please use your Doom coins before it closes. During this period, redemption requirements will be removed, meaning that anybody who is like, let's say, your rank 100 or something, um, you'll be able to, um, you know, kind of. Um, what's it called obtain like let's say carbon or something it does say that the reward redemption limit will be increased um so and then it says here resource packs that can be redeemed um and it can be redeemed an unlimited amount of times and that's gonna be added but when you kind of look at this i don't know if you missed the wording here but it says and the reward redemption limit will be increased this isn't referring to everything it sounds like compared to you know the unlimited resource packs so maybe they're going to make uh make it to where oh maybe you can obtain 10 carbons of the 90 or five of the 90 carbons right and then you can obtain unlimited resource packs so this is a little bit tricky the wording i feel like here and it makes you think that everything's going to be unlimited but from what it sounds like only the resource packs will be unlimited and they will increase uh how many uh, like of the other rewards you can redeem so it's still not bad you can maybe obtain a little bit more carbon on the way out as long as you actually have uh some doom coins kind of saved up but this still kind of sucks i feel like for a lot of players i want to hear what you guys have to think about this and you know everything um i mean can't say it looks like a terrible update i can see why it'd be bad i mean we're really gonna have to see to understand if the rewards are gonna be as bad as people are thinking they're gonna be or if they're going to make it paywalled or you know obviously it's not gonna be paywalled but you guys get what i mean like it's pay to win kind of favorable either way i do appreciate you guys for watching as always i hope you guys did enjoy the video i hope you guys um uh well you guys can maybe just drop a comment and tell me what you guys think about this new arena update if you guys are maybe looking forward to it or if you guys actually think it's gonna be bad because i'm kind of on the fence here i don't think it's gonna be bad um as long as they don't drop the bag kind of similar to genesis war i mean i think they had really good intentions when releasing genesis war they've been making updates that seem to be somewhat moving towards an improvement so i can't super complain there either way like i said you guys let me know in the comment section what you guys think about this i do appreciate you guys for watching as always i hope you guys do have a great day or night though and i will see you guys in the next one and that is about it peace out